video, we're going to continue topic 5.3, and we're going to look through explain 3, example 3a. Um, we're solving real-world problems, and you can use some of the techniques like quadratic formula, completing the square, or factoring in order to solve um, these real-world problems. So we've got to start with a boat tour that travels around an island in a pattern that could be modeled by the equation 36x squared plus 25y squared equals 900. A fishing boat approaches the island in a path that can be modeled by the equation 3x minus 2y equals negative 8. Is there a danger of collision? If so, where? So really what we have is we have two equations and two variables. So we have a systems of equations. Um, I am going to choose to write one of them um, as either an x equals or a y equals. And it's going to be ugly this time because I've got coefficients everywhere. So I'm going to take this one here. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I'm going to take this one here and I am going to solve it for x. So I'm going to start by moving the y to the other side. So we've got 3x equals 2y minus 8. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So x equals 2y minus 8 over 3. It's ugly. We're going to take that now and substitute it in for the x in the second equation. So we've got 36 times, I'm going to put parentheses for the x, it's a squared plus 25y squared equals 900. And then I'm going to take this x and I'm going to substitute it in, 2y minus 8 over 3. Then um, I am going to do some squaring. So we need to square this 2y minus 8. I'm going to do that off to the side a little bit. So 2y minus 8 times 2y minus 8. We're going to foil that out. So 2y times 2y is 4y squared. 2y times negative 8 is negative 16y. And I have that again in the middle. And then negative 8 times negative 8 is positive 64. So if I were to combine that together, I would have 4y squared minus 32y plus 64. And then in the denominator, we know that 3 squared is 9. And then we've got plus 25y squared equals 900. Um, I am going to choose to simplify a little bit. I know that 9 goes into 36 four times. And then I'm going to distribute that 4 in. So when I distribute the 4 in, I end up with 16y squared minus 128y plus 256 plus 25y squared equals 900. When we're solving a quadratic, we know it has to be equal to 0. So I'm going to combine like terms and get it equal to 0 all in one step. So I'm going to put together 16y squared and 25y squared, and that's going to give me 41y squared. I'm negative 128y, doesn't have any friends or like terms. I'm going to go ahead and subtract the 900 over, so I'd end up with negative um, 644 equals 0. I definitely would not expect you to try to do a magic x. I would put this directly into the quadratic formula. So um, we would say that y equals... Um, b, which is, or negative b, so negative negative 128 plus or minus the square root of negative 128 squared minus 4 times 41 times negative 644 all over 2 times the a value 41. I would most definitely, that's a double negative, it's going to go positive, I would most definitely just go ahead and put this into my calculator and we're going to go ahead and do a decimal point because it's a word problem. Um, that would make the most sense. So let's go ahead and put this into Desmos really quick. So we have, um, I would probably get, yeah, do one, I probably put parentheses. So parentheses 128, and you can only do plus or minus. You can't do both. So we'll have to do two calculations. So plus, I'm going to type in SQRT for square root, and then do 128 shift 6 for squared, and then minus 4 times 41 um, times negative 644, and then close the big parentheses and hit the divide key to get a division sign, and then I'm going to do 2 times 41. So one of my answers is 5.82. Then I'm going to just simply grab, 
all I really have to do is just change that sign and I get my second answer of negative 2.698. So let's go ahead and write that down. So we know that y equals negative 2.698 or um, 5.8, let's double check that again, 5.8. 2, 0, or 2, 1, okay? So now I only have the y value. I have to get the x value, so I need to substitute back into this right here. So really what I am doing is I am doing x equals negative 2 times negative 2.698 minus 8 over 3, and I'm going to get that value. And then I'm doing another x that is 2 times 5.821 minus 8 over 3. So again, I'm going to use Desmos to help me with that calculation as well. Sorry. All right, so this is not what I wanted. I wanted to go here. Okay, so it is 2 times, it was negative 2.9, it was 8, 7, right? 8, 6, 8. 698 minus 8, oops, and I should have used some parentheses, divided by um, 3. So that is negative 4.465. And then I can either just change that number or I can, if I can copy it, control C, control V, and then change the number so I don't have to type it all in again. And this is 5.821 is what we rounded to. So there's my other answer. So we're going to go ahead and put those values. So this is negative 4.465. Oops. And then the other one was 1.2. Ooh. 1.24, 1.124. All right, so then my final answer is that there would be a collision. Um, so the boats could collide, could collide at uh, negative two, no, that's the y value, sorry at negative 4.465 comma negative 2.698 and or or sorry it should probably be or at 1.214 5.821 I believe and your book looks like it's rounding to the tenths place I always round to the hundredths place